I'm delighted to be hosting series two of To The Woman. To The Woman is a series that brings together inspirational women to talk about the women who have inspired them and who've also helped shape them and change their lives and help make them who they are. The most surprising thing about writing letters and what that's brought out of me, but also listening to the letters, is how important it is to actually celebrate and tell the women who have made a difference in your life. Of the letters that I wrote myself, which did I find the most poignant to write? I think to my great-grandmother. My great-grandmother was an extraordinary woman. Um, she was illiterate. Uh, she came from a very poor village. Uh, in Ghana, um, but she somehow managed to become a successful market trader and became uh, uh, wealthy in her own right. And now looking back, I'm able to see the influence that she had on me, even you know when I was so young and not realizing uh, the impact that she had. And so it's really nice to be able to sort of celebrate her legacy and her memory. As a woman in my 40s with a career in the public eye, I have made a living out of making myself heard. This wasn't always easy and is something I've had to learn. My life has taken me from a poor part of London's East End to interviewing stars, idols, musicians, actors, and even the odd prime minister or two. Feminism is a word that um, sadly gets a bad rap. And I think that's also because a lot of people don't actually understand the true definition, which is somebody that supports or is in favor of equality between the sexes. And I think it has the sort of negative connotation as being something that represents male bashing or is saying that women are better than men. And actually it's not. It's about saying that actually equality is better for everyone. I think this podcast does a fantastic job of including people. I would never have signed on otherwise. What's wonderful is there is such a vast array of storytellers, um, women from different walks of life. I mean, we have women from uh, leading authors and thinkers to a sex worker. Being able to be a part of something like this, which really celebrates um, women in all our forms, is, is quite a beautiful thing. So many women through the ages and around the world are not heard. These women are silenced when they do speak or are taught from a young age not to give voice to their thoughts at all. The woman who first heard me is a human dynamo, someone who showed me care and tenderness at one of the toughest times in my life. You'll hear my letter to her a little later. Letter writing is a way that allows you to express yourself uh, authentically in a way that perhaps is easier than even talking to someone. You know, if it's something difficult, it's very hard to say. And often people also have a, a difficult time of expressing how much they love somebody. And sometimes that's also easier to write. Here we have women that are so different, um, women who have been broken and somehow managed to repair themselves, women who have been trailblazers and changed the world, and women who are still figuring it out. And we have it all there. And I think what this series does is it it's a, it's a lovely demonstration of wherever you are on your journey, your story matters and your voice counts. Dear Margaret, I know you're a baroness, but let's keep this informal. It's been 12 years since we really got to know one another. To be honest, I was a bit scared to meet you. You're one of the most feared and revered women in politics. You led all three of Tony Blair's landslide electoral victories and helped to push through multiple legislation changes, whilst also running a successful business.